Okay, okay. We, we see here in the gospel today the calling of Jesus to his disciples. And it is very personal to me because I can see here God speaking with all of us here, especially in your life or mission mission. We one of our desires here is that each and every one of you will begin to realize the calling of God in your life. Whatever career path you may take, whatever later on in life, children as you grow up, every day God is going to <coughs> form you into the man or woman that He intends you to be. You see, God has a wonderful plan for all of us. And it's not a plan of calamity, it's not a plan of disaster, but it's really a plan of abundance of life in Him. And we can, uh, when we read the scriptures, like the scriptures that we read today, we can see here that, that there is a personal calling that God places in our lives. I believe that nothing happens by accident. I don't believe in love. I believe God has ordained things as they happen in our lives, good or bad. But all things do work together for good for those who love God. And our desire in, in this school, and every day you come here, every time you go to Mass, every time that you do your, your Bible reading, or your, your information classes, and even in your regular classes, our desire is that you begin to listen to God, hear His voice, and know His promptings, His callings in your life. It is both a day-to-day -day calling, you know, a day-to-day -day calling uh, of what as children, like you, children are to obey your parents. It's a, a calling. It's not, it, it, God desires us to truly be obedient to our parents, to your superiors here in school, to be good citizens of the Philippines. You know, all of these things, and ultimately to be a, a child, a son, and daughter of God. A calling, that's a uh, a, a, a calling in our lives, but specifically God goes even more specific in our lives. You know, looking at just a way of testimony, you know, in, in my life, when I look back, why I became a Dino, my name is Dino. I just realized that recently there are many people, musicians, that are named Dino. So it was not an accident that my parents called me Dino. I have a lot of friends whose name is Dino, who's a very fine musician. There is a very famous pianist whose name is Dino. Uh, a great, the, the, the uh, concert master, the first violinist of San Miguel Philharmonic is named Dino. I, 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 was, I had lunch with him one time. You know, I was amazed. You know, nothing happens by accident. And even in, in my family today, my, my eldest son is uh, uh, he, he's a he's a musician through and through, much, much better than me. Much better than me. But you see, God there looking back at my life, God has ordained these things. And and I remember even as a young child, I I was so messed, I was just so enticed when I see uh, men and women play the piano or listen to music, regardless whether it's classical or even pop music, it just it will just draw uh, draws me to it because it's a calling God has placed in my life. And in your life, I I see future in all of you. Remember what I said a while ago: the callings of God in your life is not for the lamb, not for disaster but for a good and abundant life. And God has already ordained the career path that you have ahead of you. And there will be some of you that will actually be born into ministry. Some that will become priests, deacons, and even bishops. And just like the, you know the story of Samuel, the child, when he was hearing the voice of God, and our prayer, your teacher's prayer and your parents' prayer is that you, at your young age, you begin to hear the voice of God. God is calling you. God is calling you. And every event of the everyday of her 
kids and everything happening here in school, our desire is that you become sensitive to that call. Because ahead of you is a wonderful life in Christ. Amen? Amen. Amen. And God is, even today, as I was praying for the athletes, I know, you know, deep inside, it's not just about winning. And how they play the game and how they really see uh, the victory more than just the winning. The victory of, of accomplishing things in your life. And uh, uh, this is our design here. So, going back to the gospel today, they were fishers. Of, um, uh, they were a fisherman. And Jesus was calling them to become fishers. These are people, the ordinary, uh, everyday people that we see. God chooses to call them. And I believe God is also calling you. So, in every day, every day is not an accident. There is always an ultimate and divine, eternal purpose in your life. Amen? Let's go stand.